M0FXB, welcome to my channel. On the left, we have the Quanshang UV5 Art, which has just been released. And on the right, this has been out a good year now. It's the UVK5. The thing that's different about the two is the UV5R model uh, does not have USB-C charging. Okay, and the K5 model that's been out for a while. So, i uh, got a lot of interest here, then. It's absolutely crazy. Sounding great. Has USB-C charging. Otherwise, they look the same apart from the battery. Now, if we turn, and this is the charger, and I've tested this, the desktop charger does fit both radios. And this is the UV5R one. I've turned it round, look at the battery. The battery is a lot bigger on the UV5R, which we all like. Now, the instant thing is, will this battery fit this radio? So, let's take it off, push here at the bottom. And it just slides down. Let's lay that there for now. And then we'll get the other one out. Exactly the same, just push up. And the, the battery's coming in and out. Yes, it's, it's actually really good. You know, it's nice. I know I'm chucking radios around here. So here we are, we've got the two batteries. The only difference between the two, because the charging terminals are all in the same place, the only difference between the two is you've got this plastic tab here. So if you look at the UV5R, there's a hole there which allows the plastic tab to slide in. If we get the smaller battery, now the larger battery, I think it's 3800 amp hours, uh, and the smaller is 1600. So let's see if the smaller one will fit on the UV5R, and the answer is yes, and it works fine. So all we need to do, if we want the bigger battery to fit on, is remove that tab. Remove, and this tab is really thin. So, let's do it. I've just got some snips here. Now it looks to me like we only need to cut it back a bit anyway. I'm not really worried about cracking it because it's not, it's, it's not really gonna affect anything. If I do, so I'm just going to snip it down. And it's all about how much we need to snip. Now, these snips that I'm using, you know, you buy them for a pound on Amazon. Let's just see if that snips it down enough. I've just taken it level. Yeah, let's um, see if, if that will go, if that will fit. So we'll get the, uh, the K5. Go like so. And hey, presto. Fits like a glove, and we now have super duper battery on my K5. Let's take it off. Comes out, you've still got the tabs there holding it in place at the top. You do need that for stability. Otherwise, it just goes up. No problem at all. And it will fit. I've got my other one here. My K. Six. Let's test it on that as well. So it really, if you could buy, if eventually UV5R sell the battery separate, yeah, there it is. There, it's on the K K6 now. That's the chunky battery. I like it. It makes the radio feel very substantial. What they need to do, I think, is make this battery, because I've seen batteries that are like this, make this battery, make this battery with a little USB chargey thing. I've seen it on other batteries. I'll just show you uh, my other battery. If you look at this UV9, look what they've got here. They've got a little chargey bit. So that's all they need to do with these batteries. And then older radios could have USB-C charging. So yeah, whole pile of radios now. <laughs> But uh, you get the idea. So yeah, I enjoyed that. Thanks for watching my channel. And I'm going to test the airband ne next, but it seems like that the airband on the UV5R model is better. And we're going to do a good test in a minute. Bye for now, 7.3.